Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to show you how to modify one of these rear window moi panels. They're made by Fury Engraver, but there's other brands as well that you can buy from. If you have one of these Rhino Rack Pioneer platform installed on your Jeep Wrangler JL, four door or two door, you're going to face one issue with installing this moly panel. These two gutter brackets, they normally sit around here and these platform feet are getting in the way. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to modify this so that it will fit on top of your gutter here in between these two platform feet. I'll be just doing one side of this panel, which will be the driver's side that you'll be seeing during the video. I've got panels on both sides, the driver's side and the passenger side as well. The instructions apply for both sides. To do this mod, you'll need a power drill. So the video I'm gonna show you guys how to do this mod was filmed a couple of days ago. So I am the future David doing the intro right now. So let's get to it. Today I went to my home depot in Australia, it's called Bunnings. I bought a pack of four M8 by 35 mil bolts and nuts in black. So it'll look nice when I put the bolts in. It's, it's a lot better than the, the one that they provided, the silver ones, which is gonna look horrible. And the black one will look very nice and it will be very discreet. So I've got four pack of these. So each pack is a set of four M8s with the nuts. And also got a pack of 12 M8 washers. So they're all black. So you're not gonna see any silver parts around here, except these little ones here. These are the, the little, little screws for the spaces at the back. So on the driver's side panel, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove this existing screw and make a hole to fit the M8 screws. And then what I'm gonna do is measure the distance between these two holes. Then I'll drill the second hole roughly around here so that I can mount this bracket here like that. And then for this side, which is facing the front, what I'll be doing is I won't be utilizing any of the holes. So I'll be drilling a hole between here when I put the bracket on here, you'll be just screwing one bolt here. You can, if you want to, you can drill another hole here and then have a second bolt screwed on here as well. For me, I'm not gonna carry anything very heavy, so I'm, I'm just gonna drill one hole here and just use one bolt. And there'll be three bolts on top here to, to hold this molly panel. But for the bottom, we're not gonna make any modifications because it's all good, nothing's blocking it. We're gonna use the uh, M8 black bolts to mount the bottom brackets. You need Allen key. I'm gonna remove these two uh, screws here so that the surface is completely flat so we can sit the mounting bracket on it. This is size three Allen key to remove these. So while you edit, remove the other screw here as well, which is holding the spacer at the back here. The spacer has the nuts welded to it. And what I'll be doing is I'll be using the nuts that came with this new bolts. I don't know if you guys can see, I'm gonna use a black screw to screw it back on from inside. These black screws are holding a panel here on the top. So what I'm gonna do is I just screw that from the back. Now from the front of the panel, we're gonna remove these two screws that's holding the spacer at the back as well. And there you go. And the spacer should be at the back here. There you go. So you probably don't need that. We're gonna replace this spacer with the new nut that I just purchased. While we're at the front here, we're gonna utilize the existing hole, which is this one here, which I'm gonna enlarge that hole to fit the M8 bolt. I will be drilling another hole here as well. So what I'm gonna do now is gonna do some drilling. Before we do any drilling, make sure you put on some safety gloves. You wanna, <clears throat> you don't wanna injure your hands while you're drilling or getting cut by some aluminum or metal debris. It's optional, but you might not need it. It will be very good if you got one, a center punch. 
So what you do is you pinpoint the way the hole you want to drill and create a punch. So when you drill in, you'll be dead on. So um, if you don't use a center punch, sometimes when you try to drill through, it might not stay in the middle and you might, yeah, you might stuff it up. So to make this a clean job, use a center punch. I'm going to drill one hole here at the back, as I said before, but I'm going to center punch it here before I drill. So I just make sure that it's dead on center before I create the punch. So as you can see, there's a little indentation from the punch. So that's where I'm going to drill through. I've got my Ryobi here, power drill. So what we're going to do is I'm going to start off drilling a pilot hole. This is a four and a half mil drill bit for drilling through like metal, aluminum. Don't use the one for, for wood because it's not going to work. After I drill the pilot hole, I'm going to use an eight mil drill bit to drill through the hole to make it the right size to fit in an M8 bolt. got the pilot hole drill through, we're going to switch it to the 8mm drill bit. Okay, we've got a clean hole here. When we put this on here, that's just going to sit there nicely and we just put a bolt through there. What I'm going to do now at the front of the panel is I'm going to enlarge this existing small hole here to M8. So we're just going to use the, the 8mm drill bit right now. So we don't need to create any pilot hole since it's, a, since it's already a hole there. Okay, just to show you guys. So I've enlarged that small hole. So if I'm going to put a M8 bolt, it should just fit through there, just to be sure that the M8 is going to fit. There you go, so it fits perfectly. Now we need to drill a second new hole at the front here. So I just need to do some measurements. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this as a template. And to tighten those bolts, you'll need a size five Allen key. Okay, I think that's hand tight enough. So what I'm going to do now, let this stay still. I think that's, that's good enough. I'm going to grab a pen and trace the circle in there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to switch it back to the four and a half mil drill bit. Make sure everything's centered. Now let's drill. Now let's switch this back to the 8mm drill bit. There we go, no going back. Now as you can see, I've got the two holes drilled here now for the front mounting brackets on the roof gutter. And I've got one drilled here. Like I said before, you can drill an additional hole here for the back roof gutter mounting bracket. If you're gonna install like heavy stuff on this molly panel, for me, I'm not gonna drill another hole here. I'm just gonna use one bolt to hold the bracket and the, the molly panel. And we're still gonna use the existing brackets for the bottom as well. Before I mount this onto the Jeep, let's put on the top bracket first. It's just easier to install it. Like I said, we're not gonna use the factory bolts and nuts and washer. There is this little ring that you're supposed to use with the bolts and the washer. I don't know what you call them. I don't know, like a tension, tension ring or whatever you call it. But I'm going to use that. I'm going to put that ring in first. And then my black washer. And the nut. 
we'll tighten that up in a while. We're well, going to do the second bolt. So I'm just going to hand tighten it first. Let's do the bracket at the back here, which is only going to utilize one, one bolt and nut. So it's going to look like this. Spanner. Let's see if I can hold on to this nut while I'm tightening it here. That's not going to move. Let's do it to the other ones as well. The bracket that, that goes below here. One thing that you need to be aware of is there's no protective film or layer here like they have inside here. What I'm going to do is I've got a clear Gorilla Tape which I'm going to cut to size. I'm going to put this at the back here, just extra protection so I won't scratch the paint job while I am fitting the bracket. So now both bottom brackets have got a protective film or tape. Now we can go outside and install the entire panel. So I'll see you guys outside. So that's it for this video guys. So if you've got any questions about the modification and installation of this Molly panel, leave a comment below. Please click on the like button below. That would really help us a lot with the video. If you're new to this channel and you like this kind of content, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. I'll see the rest of you guys in our next video. See ya.